Welcome to Pastor Andrew's Inspirations. Today we will talk about the biblical city of Bethel. Bethel, meaning house of El or house of God, is a toponym often used in the Hebrew Bible. It is first mentioned in Genesis chapter 12 verse 8 as being near where Abram pitched his tent. Later in Genesis it is the location where Jacob dreamt of seeing angels and God. and which he therefore named Bethel, house of God. The name is further used for a border city located between the territory of the Israelite tribe of Benjamin and that of the tribe of Ephraim, which first belonged to the Benjaminites and was later conquered by the Ephraimites. Eusebius of Caesarea and Jerome described Bethel in their time as a small village that lay 12 miles north of Jerusalem to the right or east of the road leading to Neapolis. Most academics identify Bethel with the Arab West Bank village Beitin, a minority opinion preferring El Bire. Ten years after the 1967 Six-Day War, the biblical name was applied to the Israeli settlement of Betel. Construction adjacent to Baton. In several countries, particularly in the U.S., the name has been given to various locations. Bethel is mentioned several times in Genesis. It is first mentioned in Genesis chapters 12 and 13 as a place near where Abram stayed and built an altar on his way to Egypt and on his return. It is said to be close to high and just to the west of it. More famously it is mentioned again in Genesis 28 when Jacob fleeing from the wrath of his brother Esau falls asleep on a stone and dreams of a ladder stretching between heaven and earth and thronged with angels. God stands at the top of the ladder and promises Jacob the land of Canaan. When Jacob awakes he anoints the stone Betelus with oil and names the place Bethel. Another account from Genesis chapter 35 repeats the covenant with God and the naming of the place as El Bethel and makes this the site of Jacob's own change of name to Israel. Both versions state that the original name of the place was Luz, a Canaanite name. Bethel is mentioned again in the book of Joshua chapter 7 verse 2 and chapter 8 verse 9 as being close to I and on the west side of it. In this episode Joshua sent men from Jericho to capture I. At Joshua chapter 16 verse 1 it is again said to be next to Luz near Jericho and part of the territory of the descendants of Joseph, that is Manasseh and Ephraim, in Joshua chapter 16 verse 4. In the book of Judges, chapter 1 verse 22, the descendants of Joseph captured the city of Bethel, which again is said to have previously been called Luz. At Judges chapter 4 verse 5, the prophetess Deborah is said to dwell at Bethel under the palm tree of Deborah presumably a reference to Genesis chapter 35 verse 8 where another Deborah the nurse of Jacob's mother Rebekah 
is said to have been buried under a tree at Bethel. Bethel is said in Judges chapter 4 verse 5 to be in Mount Ephraim. At Judges chapter 20 verse 18 where the Hebrew Bethel is translated in the King James Version as the house of God. The people of Israel go to Bethel to ask counsel of God when they are planning to attack the Benjaminites at the Battle of Gabay. They make a second visit in Judges chapter 20 verse 26 after losing the battle. Bethel was evidently already an important religious center at this time. So important in fact that the Ark of the Covenant was kept there. Under the care of Phinehas, the grandson of Aaron, in Judges chapter 20 verse 27. At Judges chapter 21 verse 19, Bethel is said to be south of Shiloh. At the next mention of the Ark, in 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse 3 it is said to be kept at Shiloh in the book 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 16 it is said that the prophet Samuel who resided in Ramah used to make a yearly circuit of Bethel Gilgal and Mizpah to judge Israel at 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 3, Samuel tells Saul to go to Bethel to visit the hill of God, where he will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery and a tablet and a tablet and a pipe and a harp. It appears that there was a Philistine garrison there at that time. Bethel is mentioned again in 1 Samuel chapter 13 verse 2 and 2 Samuel chapter 30 verse 27. After the kingdom of Israel was spilt into two kingdoms on the death of King Solomon 931 BC, Jeroboam the first king of the northern kingdom of Israel made two calves of gold in 1 Kings chapter 12 verse 28 and set one up in Bethel and the other in Dan in the far north of his kingdom. This was apparently to make it unnecessary for the people of Israel to have to go to, I to, have to, go to Jerusalem to worship in the temple there. It seems that this action provoked the hostility of the Judeans. A story is told in 1 Kings chapter 13 verse 1 of how a man from Judah visited the shrine at Bethel and prophesied that it would eventually be destroyed by Joshua. At 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 1 the prophets Elijah and Elisha are said to have visited Bethel on a journey from Gilgal to Jericho. Shortly before Elijah was taken up to heaven without dying in 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 11. Later when Elisha returned alone to Bethel he is said to have been taunted by some young men not young boys, as it is translated in some English Bibles, as he climbed up to the shrine and cursed them. Whereupon 42 of the young men were killed by bears in 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 23. Bethel is next mentioned in connection with the 10th king of Israel, Jehu, 842 to 815 B.C. Despite his killing of the prophets of Baal and destruction of their temple, it is said that Jehu continued to tolerate the presence of the golden calves in Bethel and Dan in 2 Kings chapter 10 verse 29. The shrine 
at Bethel apparently avoided destruction in the Assyrian invasions of the Kingdom of Israel in 740 and 722, but was finally completely destroyed by King Josiah of Judah, 640 to 609 BC. Bethel is mentioned in Ezra, chapter 2, verse 28, and Nehemiah, chapter 7, verse 32, as being resettled at the time of the return of the exiles from Babylon. The shrine is mentioned with disapproval by the prophet Amos 750. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. A few years later, the prophet Hosea, 8th century BC, speaks at least according to modern translations of the wickedness of Bethel in Hosea chapter 10 verse 15, and Jeremiah, 6th century BC, speaks of the shame which it brought on Israel in Jeremiah chapter 48 verse 13. Hosea chapter 13 verses 1 to 3 describes how the Israelites are abandoning Adonai for the worship of Baal. And accuses them of making or using images for idol worship. Chief among these it appears was the image of the bull of Bethel which by the time of Hosea was being worshipped as an image of Baal. Bethel was again inhabited and fortified by Bacchides, the Syrian, in the time of the Maccabees. Josephus tells us that Bethel was captured by Vespasian. Robinson notes that after the writings of Eusebius and Jerome, he found no further references to Bethel in the written historical record. However, he notes that the ruins at Baton are greater than those of a village and seem to have undergone expansion after the time of Jerome, noting also the presence of what appear to be ruins of churches from the Middle Ages. This is the biblical city of Bethel. God's blessings be upon you all and may you have a great week.